This review is about the Ben Nye Concealer Wheel and the reason why I wanted to review this is because I've been using it the last two years and I never really thought of sharing this with you guys but all of a sudden I'm doing it right now and the reason why I wanted to share this with you is because you have more than one concealer in this wheel. So normally you have one concealer and it might not give you the best coverage or you need something because of your like discoloration on your skin and then you need to buy another product. Now with this one you have all in one and that's also why I've been using it now for so long. The reason why I personally like to use it is because of my eye bags which sometimes are not really there but days like these it can be really strong and this is where I grab to the co like color correcting and also the Ben Nye concealer wheel. And also when it comes to my red spots and when it comes to using concealer in general. Now this is not the only shade that they have, they have three different concealer wheels for fair, medium and dark. So it's definitely suitable for every skin tone. Now I also wanted to share a little bit more of a demonstration on how you can use it because I personally really love this concealer wheel and I wanted to bring you closer to some Ben Nye products. Now as you can see I mainly use these three products but also a bit on this one above. Now I just wanted to also share with you on when I'm using which color and when it comes to this one this is my skin tone color so I'm going to use it as a normal concealer as I would do with any other concealer. Now when it comes to my eye bags these are mainly bluish purplish and this is where I personally always like to grab into this one and that's also the most used one. And then when it comes to my red spots I'm going to use the middle one because it has like a greenish tone and the one above has more like a peachy tone. So orangey concealers neutralize blue and also green neutralizes red. Now the reason why I personally love to use this is because they are very natural. So they are not like full on green. They still have some skin color in it but it's like just a tiny bit of green or a tiny bit of orange. Now I'm going to use a concealer buffer and I'm going to start off with my eye bags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bit of the orangey one and I have it on my brush right here and I'm just going to place it right here underneath. Now of course keep in mind that if you're going to color correct this is not something that you would do in an everyday makeup routine. This is something that you would do if you really need to look very polished and you don't just want to get rid of your eye bags and your redness from your breakouts or just redness on your cheeks or nose area. So I definitely would recommend you only using it when you really need to look very polished. But other than that, just stick to your normal concealer. That's what I do. Like when I have like things going on like this, this is where I like to use it because it's pretty bad. Now what I also like to do is now that I have applied it on the under eye area, I like to take the sponge and blend it in. And to set it, because it's a cream concealer, I'm just going in with some translucent powder. Now keep in mind, because this is a cream concealer, it's a bit heavier, so you won't um, feel a very light feeling. It's definitely more of the heavier side, but it gives you an amazing coverage. And once you're done with color correcting, you can go over with your foundation. Now when it comes to the red spots, I'm going to dig into this greenish one with a concealer brush or just remove the orangey one on a cotton pad or so on and just take the same brush. It doesn't matter how you're going to apply it, just make sure that you're not using too too much because afterwards you need to cover it as well with the foundation or with your BB cream, whatever you're using. So use it sparingly because it will do the job because the colors are just neutralizing each other. This is just how like red and green works and also how blue and orange work. And what I do love is because it's like a creamy concealer and also because it's Ben Nye, they are also very known for professional makeup products. Doesn't mean that you can't get your hands on it just because you're not a makeup artist, but just because they are so professional, the product itself is amazing. And as I said, I've been using it now for the last two years and I do always recommend people if they wanted to have something to um, get rid of their eye bags or redness, that's the first thing that I personally always recommend them because I myself use it quite often. Now, of course, only if I need it. So once the red spots are covered, you just can blend it in with your finger and then again, just go in with some translucent powder. Because it's cream, we just wanna make sure that once we apply the foundation, 
it won't move because once it's moving then it's not at the area anymore so just make sure because it's cream um, concealer from Van Nuys that you're also using a translucent powder on top now once this is done we can also apply the foundation and then see the end result now the foundation that you're going to use this is your choice it doesn't matter just make sure that if you're using a BB cream that you use less of the color correcting concealer and if you are using more like a liquid foundation with a medium coverage then you can also use a bit more product but I definitely wouldn't overdo it um, and also make sure that once you're getting close to the areas where you're have applied the concealer that you're making sure that you're not going to um, like rub the foundation over it so only dab over it and not rub it otherwise the product will go away and that's not what we want so I'm just going to spread out the foundation and then we definitely will see that it covers the redness and also my dark under eye circles because these need to go away so and as I said, because it's a cream concealer, it feels a bit heavier, but it still feels very, very like it's comfortable to wear. It's not like, too heavy that, you, that it will melt off your face. Of course, you need to use powder afterwards as well. And if you have dry skin, then this concealer is also beautiful for you, especially like in general, if you have dry skin and you are looking for concealer then just go in with a cream concealer because that's what you want. And the cream texture just won't make it look dry. And in general, just use powder and then you're good to go and it will stay on all day long. Now I'm just going to finish off the foundation application and then I'll show you the end result and also how you can use the normal skin tone concealer on top. Now once you use the color correcting concealer from the Ben Nye concealer wheel, you can apply the foundation and after you're done with your foundation, you can also go into your skin tone concealer. Now in my case, this would be this one and I'm going to use it on the concealer brush and then I'm going to blend it with the beauty blender, of course. Now I'm just going to use a little bit because I don't want to use too much because I'm still happy on how it looks like, but I just wanted to brighten up this area right here. Now I'm going in with the beauty blender and because I haven't set anything with powder yet on top it's still very blendable and all what you need to do is that you're going to set it with translucent powder again. Now we are not going to talk about baking, we are not going to talk about anything of that, we are just going to dust it slightly over so that it won't crease and that it will be like looking nice and fresh during the day. That's all what we wanted to reach for a daily, also kind of a daily makeup look. So I'm just going to use the sponge again and I'm going to blend it in. And then all what you're going to do is you're going to take the brush again and use a bit of translucent powder. And then you're good to go with using the Ben Nye concealer wheel while you did do some discoloration concealing and you are using it as a normal concealer on top and this is all in one product just in different sections. Now of course just finish off the rest of your makeup and you will see that you will look so gorgeous only by using the concealer wheel instead of three or four different concealer like separately. And with the Ben Nye concealer, as I said, you can also get it in different shades. Just keep, like, keep it in your mind that if you have blueness, use the orangey tones. And if you have any redness, use the green tones. And this doesn't matter on which area you have it on your face. Just make sure that the right color neutralizes the right like, problematic area on your face. Now I've been using this for two years, so I definitely would recommend this product to you because I'm really like fascinated by it that you have like all in one and it's so easy to handle and it's a creamy consistency so it also will work for every skin type and of course you just need to set it with translucent powder and then you're done. Now this is all what I wanted to share with you guys, also included like a little tutorial. Hope that this was helpful for you guys and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!